Yeah. And this has been a big talker since last week, but still people are outraged that now you can bring small knives on planes. It just doesn't seem to make sense, but the TSA is defending that decision. Yeah, the administrator spoke yesterday in Washington about it. Lawmakers are not really feeling too good about this. The flight attendant union not really feeling too good about this, but the TSA says we are going forward with this plan because Knives aren't the problem. What we really need to focus on is the bomb making materials, that kind of thing. Well, I think what people are having a hard time with, but face lotions and bottled water are the problem. <laughs> like, if you're going to get rid of anything, how about that small lotion size thing rather than knives? Knives well, could be a problem. Airline stewardesses are so upset. Three major airlines have come out and talked against this, saying they're uncomfortable. Knives can take down one person or maybe two people. Right. But if those lotions or those liquids can create a bomb, they could take down a lot more. That's what the TSA says. That's why they say they're moving forward with this. Right, whether people like it or not, and they don't. An airport in uh, Europe is apologizing for using an image of a plane crash in this country that happened back in the 90s in a promotional piece of material saying, our airport's safe. You'll never have this happen to you if you fly out of here. It's hard to believe that they thought this would be an okay thing because this crash happened where a plane skidded off the runway and ended up killing a child. It's a horrific picture. They're using it in their ad. You would think ad agencies get paid a lot of money to come up with creativity, right? Right? But how about this? This is not creative. You really want to scare anyone who's about to get on a plane? Yeah, the, and that's why the airport is now apologizing, saying it's never going to happen again. They say this is unacceptable. Somebody who was over-enthusiastic decided to go with that post. But again, how, how does it even come into your mind? Because it's just, it's an association you just don't want to make. Yeah, and probably want to avoid that airport after that as well.